Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all to schedule stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is just after four o'clock in the afternoon. Monday the 15th of May, 2023. 82 degrees Fahrenheit right now in Jacksonville, Florida. 69% humidity, 28C. A little overcast at the moment. We'll see what I we'll see about wearing sunglasses here in a little bit. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Start off with. Uh, I've had this question several times <clears throat> about being monetized or having something uh, where y'all can send me send me money or something to that effect, uh, PayPal or Venmo or whatever. I have to be careful. I'm on I'm on disability. I need to be careful about how much money I can, how much money I bring in. And one viral video can like mess me up for months. So I mean, I have I haven't had a viral video. But then again, I'm not monetized, so you know they don't advertise me the same as they do others. Um, but yeah, all I have to do is make like. Two hundred and ten dollars in a month, and they'll, they'll be all over my case. Maybe not right away. It might take six months for them to find out, and then they, they start taking the money back out of the, out of your account. And if it's you know, depending on how much it is, it may mess with my medical benefits as well. So for me, it's just. It's not worth it. I mean, if I was making a couple, couple grand a month, and you know that was a regular paycheck, it'd be a different story. But that said, um, a, a lot of, and a lot of things get traced not just through not just like Social Security, but the IRS is is coming down harder. You can't have more than uh, a certain amount of money. I don't know if it's per month or per year uh, transferred into your account and blah, blah, blah. So, in the past, people have sent me uh, gift cards, some to you know, fast food joints, and that's greatly appreciated. Um, sometimes a gas card or a, a grocery store card. The only problem I have with specific cards like that is I may not go to that type of a, of a restaurant on a regular basis or uh, the, the grocery store chain that you, that you have or you frequent uh, may not be here or you know maybe one of the, the, the higher end restaurants restaurants but uh, grocery stores that I don't frequent so just a plain gift card cash card with five dollars on it or whatever uh, you know that that'll get me a burger and a coke or actually you know stop here at, at uh, the gas station and pick up a cup of coffee and a, and a, and a Danish or, you know, if it's more, I can put gas in the vehicle. Or go to go to dinner and do a review on, I don't know which one, what one did, which cop just did a, did a review. I think it was um, Chicken Nuggets. Somebody, somebody's doing a fiery Chicken Nuggets. I think it was McDonald's. So... 
that's you know that's where I am on that is I'm not asking anybody don't get me wrong uh, don't take this the wrong way I'm not asking anybody for money I'm not asking you to you know, send me a send me a gift card but if that's if that's the way you lean if that's what you want to do like I said if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or put a couple of dollars worth of gas in the tank that's fine that's the the best way to do it for me is to just send it, send me a card in the snail mail. Uh, most of the other things take, like PayPal and all that, they take a big chunk out of what you sent anyway. So, well, maybe not a big check, a big chunk, but they take a chunk. So. Uh, there's that. Um, we talked about. I mean, I, I know I'm a pack rat. I do, you know, my curve shopping and whatnot. I did a. I was at my son's house yesterday. Um, the griddle that he cooked to cook the meals on was something he picked up in the neighborhood. I think it was I think it was on the curb it may have been something he, that he paid he pays for it a fleet at a, a yard sale not a hundred percent sure he's had it for a couple months but I showed a a fold-up wagon a really nice fold-up wagon uh, he picked up the other day off the curb and then not really a curb find curb find uh, the customer he was working for he does he does uh, home improvements and and basically mainly painting. He does a lot of other home improvement type stuff. But uh, the lady he was working for, the family he was working for, whatever, they were looking to get rid of a bedroom set. So he said, "Yeah, I can I can definitely get rid of it for you." And they went home, and my youngest granddaughter got a like an almost, almost new, still in the wrapping type thing, um, clean bed, because it was out of their, out of the, these people's spare bedroom, seldom ever slept on type thing. So, uh, I said before, it runs, it runs in the family. You know, I got it from, I got it from my grandfather and my father and now my son's doing it, and I'm sure the, sure some of the grandkids will do it as well. My daughters don't do it as often. They used to. I mean, they had their entire, they started an entire business um, at the thrift store for secondhand, secondhand clothing and stuff that was just stuff that we picked up on the curb. So, you know, like entire, like people throw away, at, giant trash bags full of baby clothes you take them home you wash them you fold them you put them out on the counter for you know 50 cents each and people scarf them up so they went from the flea market to a actual actual store store and then they ran that for well over a year until they raised the raised the rent rates on the on the building, and uh, a lot of places moved out of there, and a lot of that building is still vacant today, like four years later, five years later. I forget, maybe even longer than that. Probably longer than that, because the Grand Brat's twelve. I think he was like three when they were moving, when they stopped, stopped the, uh, closed the store down. Well, anyway. Oh. Man, I thought I would leave early and beat some of this traffic. Seems like I left early and I'm running into even more traffic. 
We're on the way to my daughter's house, by the way, for dinner tonight. I'm going to make a stop off at uh, Dollar Tree. We might be able to hit them on the way back, but it depends on, you know, how late dinner is, what movies we, we decide to watch, etc. So, I left myself a little bit of extra time to stop on the way. It's nothing monumental or, you know, emergency type. I could probably just go tomorrow. But, go ahead and try this today. I may end up in a different Dollar Tree tomorrow, or two or three. Just depends on what I find. Many cars waiting in that line back there. This isn't this isn't actually a legal spot, but it's not an illegal spot either. It's just turning into this long closed restaurant. Uh, okay. We got that blocked off with a truck. Hopefully they didn't do that on this side. unloading that truck there that's what that was so okay park in the middle of the road Okay, I did not lose it. I have found 11 cents just in this parking lot. And then just now, I found this little thing. Don't know what it actually is, but it will be agreeably. Um, you know, just, I don't know if it'll be something for an eye or or what but it'll be something it'll go in my mix mismatch box so the lady in there I see her fairly often and she's like just toys today and she's kind of giving me that quizzical look. I was like, yeah. She's like, are they for a deaf you or? No, they're for me. <laughs> uh, so I tried to explaining um, what I do with the, with the parts and whatnot. And of course, she 
just had that quizzical look on her face. I'm going to have to take some pictures and go back and show her. I tried to explain it. I also picked up a couple of uh, toothpick containers, which I was looking to make this type of a shape. Let's see how long this light's going to last. Let's think about that type of a shape. I've got a couple pill bottles to cut up, but that's a robot shape right there. And that's what I told her. I said, you take that, take that shape and take a couple of a couple of pieces from this kit and a couple pieces from that kit. Maybe some little pieces of junk that you found. Into a USB cord. Um, and I said you put it all together and you come up with something. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, I still don't think she understood. So, how about I'm not sure any, I'm not sure I understand it, and I'm the one doing it. Excuse me. Seems like every time I turn around, when I get into these phases. Every time I turn, you know, any place I turn around, it's like, when I was doing the spaceships, it's like, ooh, that bottle, if I took it and turned it around and did this and did that and did something else, it would make a cool-looking spaceship. And now it's everything I look at is, is I'm looking at it with a, the concept of, you know, can, can I robot that? I walked in the store, they've got these, frozen popsicle makers you know they're, well they're, they're plastic popsicle makers and the popsicle shape itself I was like that would probably make a pretty cool robot just like in, in just one direction you could turn like it several different directions you could take the four pack and make four different robots and make them all look different. So, I didn't pick them up. I'm probably going to regret that. Because they're going to be in my head, turning around and popping up ideas, and I'll go back and they won't be there. Whoa, Polo Tropical closed? No way. Oh, bummer. Okay, I didn't eat there a lot, but I liked going there. I like their bowl, their bowls. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Oh well. That's happening more and more and more. Places are closing down. And in places like this across the street, this gas station, they're building more and more of those large convenience gas stations with I don't know how many bays they've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looks like twelve bays with pumps on both sides, so that's twenty-four. That's a big you know, that's a big gas station. So and then the, you know a big convenience store inside. And they, they keep selling more and more and more stuff in there too. Although, one thing, I say this about all, even the gate station up the corner from me, they sell uh, hot food, uh, roller food like roller dogs and uh, taquitos and uh, different, different things like that. Uh, and then they've also got a hot box that's got pizza and toasted sandwiches and various things like that but they close them down at like seven o'clock and they stop restocking them around five so why be open 24 hours if you don't have all that stuff ready to sell you know I mean they'll come back and they oh well we don't sell that much 
you don't have you don't sell any if you don't have it out. So don't put a whole lot out. If you sell, you know, if you got four slices of pizza out there, you sell two, put two more out, just like you do the hot dogs. You know, when you go through the hot dogs, you go out and you put more on the rack and let them start start doing their thing. I'm not a businessman. I'm just a consumer. And as a consumer, I would like to have stuff out there to consume, especially food. Although, to be honest, uh, two slices of pizza for almost four bucks, gas station pizza no less, I don't know. It's still... <laughs> Those advertisements still keep teasing me. One of these days, I'm going to go ahead and bite that bullet and spend almost four dollars on two slices of pizza. I would much rather go to uh, you know one of the pizza joints, but they're not open all the time. They don't have slices all the time. Anyway, uh, kid almost ran out. It looked like he was going to run out into the street on his electric scooter. Turned at the last minute. Oh Lord! Yesterday, I had something in mind to talk about and could not think about it. I thought about it last night. I should have written it down, made a note of it, because once again, it's like right there, wanting to come out, but it's just teasing me. It will not come to the forefront. So. Uh, let's see, I got... Two weeks. Oh, that's a sweet old. I thought it was a Honda. It said Yamaha on the side. Old, old, like 70s. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Two weeks and, and uh, two weeks, a couple days. I'll be over to my son's house for the better part of two weeks. I think it's actually, I think it's actually sweet. 15 days or 16 days all total so. kind of looking forward to that need to start getting getting the, my house in order it'll take me that long doing a little bit at a time but, uh, Becky had a legit question on my curb fine microwave being out on the porch like what about when it rains because it, it, it rains occasionally here in Florida um, right now it's covered with a piece of vinyl that I cut off the back of a couch quite a while ago and uh, I had it hanging over that over the shelving unit because I've got my, my uh, gas grill behind there and a couple of other things that just try to keep the keep the rain off it. So I just used it to cover the, the microwave. Excuse me. But I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and make a piece of uh, make a box cover for it out of coroplast. Coroplast is, I guess that's really more of a brand name like Kleenex is. Coroplast is the stuff you see, the stipe size all over the place, the corrugated plastic, uh, it looks like plastic cardboard. So, I'm thinking I'll find, find some stipe signs or go, go and buy. Material. 
not, nothing elaborate. I mean, it just needs to be put a couple of folds in a piece of plastic board and glue it or tape it or whatever. Just enough to keep the rain off. So, anyway. I kind of like these glasses, but they feel so light and they keep falling down my face. We're coming up on the last turn, so uh, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be Fandoculus. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they ain't, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fan Oculus day. Watch you, y'all.